Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we will work on creating our own armor piece. We will also add the Unreal Skeletal Mesh to it. As you can see, this will automatically apply all animations from the character to the armor piece. Let's begin. The first step is to export the skeletal mesh we want to use. So in my case, I search for Quinn Simple. I right click it and then I say Asset Action Export. The default settings should be ok, here are my default settings. Next open Blender and remove everything. This is just an example and I will show you the process of creating your own cloth with weight paint and a skeletal mesh. That's why I will create a very simple mesh that will show the process. If you want to have a beautiful mesh, go to YouTube, there are millions of Blender clothes tutorials and do one of them. Begin by removing everything and import or export it skeleton. Here are my settings for the import. We only need one LOD, so delete the other LODs. Next, I will create a simple armor piece. I will speed this process up, but you can slow it down if you want to follow along. Normally, you don't want to have clipping in your meshes, but for the sake of simplicity, I will just use a simple cube that clips to the character. The best way would be to build the cloth around the player and also add some cloth simulation. For this mesh I will add some more subdivisions, so that the cloth is more flexible once we start with the weight paint. Make sure that you have no armature modifier and no vertex groups on the cloth. Now right click on the root mesh and then right click with shift on the cloth mesh. Go to weight paint and choose transform weight data. Then set the transform data. Here I pick nearest face interpolated 5M and also by name. Also here I'm no expert in Blender. I copied this from another tutorial. So if you want to learn more about it, just go on YouTube and search for Blender weight painting. But I found for my example, these settings work best. After we set the transfer data, we can add an armature to the cloth and pick the root as the, yeah, as the root. Now we can test the bones if they affect also the clothing. Everything works correctly, you can export it. Make sure to delete the mannequin and check mesh and armature. Then uncheck the leaf bones and export. I will scroll here so you can see what my default settings are. Back into the engine, go to the armor, create a new folder and then import the FPX. Check skeletal mesh, select the simple skeletal mesh you exported and import the new cloth. Before we can start with the item, we need to change something at the master. So go to the master SM item and here create a skeletal mesh. Select 
set the properties exactly like the static mesh. Now I will show you a second way on how to set parent items from the child. Inside the construction script, search for the set recording settings and make the variable. Next, get recording settings and break it. Before we continue, open the recording settings and add a skeletal mesh to it. Back into the master pickup item, we connect everything. For the mesh and the skeletal mesh, use the components from here. So with this, the item data has always the skeletal mesh from the viewport that we selected. Done, let's create the chest pickup item. Give it some settings and we are good to go. Go to the viewport and here at the skeleton mesh, we can uh, set the skeleton mesh that we can see in the world. You can move it a bit so it's not levitating in the world. Go to the main map and add the item to the world. And before we test, I forgot something. Go here to the collision enabled and yeah, set it to enabled. Okay, now we can work on the code to equip. Go to the character and open the equip function. Duplicate the equip by function and create a skeletal mesh inside the character. Remove the mesh from the old input. Go into the function and after we found the item, we want to check if we have a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. Add a branch to the true and to the false part. Here we want to check if the recording settings mesh is not equal to null. With this we can now know if this has a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. Break the S item data and break the S recording. Then get the mesh and check if it's not equal to null. Connect the boolean to the two branches we created. And for the false part get the uh, category and switch on enum. From the switch on chest, we search for set skeletal mesh asset and we connect the chest mesh into it. The new mesh to set will be from the recording settings. Then pull the output, ignore the attached to actor component and put it in here. Go to the construction script and set the mesh as new leader and the chest as the target. This will sync the animations. Go back to the equip by function and move the output behind the location and rotation. Because here our static mesh is not set and we actually don't need to rotate or set the location for meshes that are skeletal. Remove the first branch here and just put the true into the unequip item. Go into the unequip function and here from the chest we want to set the skeletal mesh to null. Finally, let's test it.
As you can see, I can equip the chess piece and it's perfectly synced to the character. And the unequip also works perfectly fine. And that's it. In the next one, we will create the bottom part. Thanks for watching. See you in the next week. Bye.